If you have a quiz where you're going to be asking questions based on images, in other words, you're going to put some images in the question, or you may have images in the answers, and you want students to be able to see the details of these uh, images, you want to follow this tutorial, which is going to show you how you can have a little thumbnail image and a student clicks on it and they'll be able to view a larger image in something called an overlay. An overlay is a great tool because it does not get blo blocked by pop-up blockers. Now it's really important that you follow this tutorial step by step. You should also note that this tutorial assumes you feel comfortable working with the source code of, H of the HTML editor. If you do not, please contact my courses for faculty at spcollege.edu for help. Now, before you begin, there's a couple things that you want to be able to do. You want to have your images prepared. That means you want to have two images. You want to have a small image and then a larger image. Now, this smaller image should be resized in a graphic editing program like Photoshop. You shouldn't just place it in the HTML editor and resize it. You should also have these images already uploaded to the Manage File area, and it's best practice to create a folder so you know where things are. And then there's some HTML code that you're going to need to place into these uh, questions uh, and into the HTML editor. And we'll get to that in a few minutes. So now I'm going to show you what you do. The first thing you do is I'm going to go ahead and create the question. For this case, I'm just going to go ahead and create a true and false question. I'm going to then, um, within the question text area, I am going to click on the HTML editor source. I'm going to copy this little line of HTML code that begins with iframe and ends with an iframe. I'm going to copy that to my clipboard and I'm going to go ahead and paste it into the HTML editor and I'm going to click the Save button. I'm now going to go ahead and click on the Insert Image icon. I'm going to click on Course Offering Files and again remember that it's assumed that you've already uploaded your files to the Manage File area and you've put them in a nice orderly place so you know where everything is. You'll notice that I've named them one small, one large. I'm going to choose the small one and I'm going to click Add. Click the checkbox next to this image is decorative and click OK. So now I'm going to click on the image itself to select it and I'm going to click on the quick link icon. I'm going to click on course files. I'm now going to navigate to the image that I want to be the large one, and I'm going to click on the name of that image. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the code that says target equals overlay. I'm going to copy that to my clipboard. I'm now going to go back into the HTML editor source code, and I'm going to find where it says target equals underscore self, and I'm going to highlight that and then I'm going to paste in this target equals overlay. I'm going to go ahead and click Save. And if I want, I can click on Preview. I'm going to, well, I'm going to finish filling out the question. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and say this is 100 points uh, or 100%. I can click on Preview now before I even save it so I can make sure that this works as expected. So again, this is what I'm trying to accomplish is that I click on the image and the students see the image and depending on the size of the image, it will resize to whatever the size your image is in the overlay. Students can close that. They can answer the question. I'm going to go ahead and click done. And now I'll just go ahead and click save. And that is how I get my image in there and have it so that when I click on it, it creates an overlay of a larger image with much more detail for the students to be able to see those details.